did count those mug shots. I think it was up to 15. But I love that you own it. You know, yeah. like um, what I'm gonna say about that, like it's I have a lot of mug shots, way more than 15. I thank you for that though. But um a lot of it comes from if when you get booked, you know what I'm saying, they take your picture. And if I got like probation or anything for that charge and I violate it, they're gonna take another picture. It's the same t charge, you know? It's not like I'm getting recharged for all this stuff all over and over and over again. If I fucked up that many times in my criminal life, then I should have known I'm not a stupid person. You don't need to be a criminal. You probably need to change some things around. So I had a lot of success in that lifestyle. So it's not like I just kept doing those things, but like I was never good on probation. A lot of the It that did, happened. that could have happened to me. And it did, and it was just like, if I wouldn't have, see, by nature, I'm a very, um, I'm a violent person, you know? So when somebody touch me, it's on whether you got a gun, or you the police, or you anything. It, it's just by nature how I grew up. So I just knew, because right after that, before that, this was in January, might I add. This is, happened in the top of January. It was an incident with uh, the last one who got killed. So I just kept thinking about that over and over in my head, like, yo, don't do nothing, don't do nothing, yo. They gonna f you up. They gonna kill you right here in front of the air. You know, I thought about my daughters, and I was just like, yo, just don't do nothing. So that kept me quiet, you know what I'm saying? All the rage and anger that I always possess, like, I, I kind of put it on mute because I know what could happen to me in this, in this instant and I don't have no win, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was a, just a horrible experience. Whatever they said I was doing, right or wrong, I was manhandled and I shouldn't have been. But what I am about to do is I'm gonna go to the juvenile and talk to young girls like me because I realize it's not even their fault for being followers because it's nobody to lead, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let people know that it's okay to be you. It's okay to find out who you are. And take your time, you know what I'm saying? You don't always gotta be in a relationship. You know, single time is the best time for you to find yourself. You don't always need somebody to love you. Love you first, you know what I'm saying? You don't always need a group of friends. You could just be alone and find out who you are and you might feel more comfortable with yourself.